everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video about books today. This time my childhood favorites. I think we all have those books that we look back on with nostalgia and remember you know the wonder that they brought us when we were younger um, and I wanted to share some of those with you today. Books that I'm going to be talking about are mostly middle grade fiction stuff that I read between the grades of four and seven. Anyway without further ado let's get into my favorite childhood books. First book that I picked up off my shelf when looking back with nostalgia was Distant Waves by Suzanne Wen. I bought this book at a book fair at my elementary school when I was probably in grade six, five or six, and I bought it because at the time I was really interested in the Titanic, which this book is about. About five sisters who traveled on the Titanic. Um, they all have different stories and it's really interesting. Um, it's been a long time since I read it, but I remember really, really liking it. It's sort of interesting because um, Nikola Tesla is somehow incorporated into this story because I think that they're from North America, but then they go to Europe and are traveling home and Obviously they don't make it, but another interesting component of this book is they are from a sort of supernatural clairvoyant family, so there's a little bit of that kind of magic incorporated into the story. All around I found this to be a really whimsical historical fiction, but I really liked it because it was about five sisters, so a lot of really good female characters and cool historical aspects. So I really enjoyed this when I was in the sixth grade and I think I would still enjoy it now. I should reread it. So the next book that I remember fondly from my childhood is a classic that I'm sure many of us read when we were that age and it is Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk. I actually did not finish reading this series but maybe I should. I don't think I need to explain the plot to you. We all know that it's about uh, Mo and his daughter and how he can bring books to life through reading them aloud and great adventure story that I think lots of kids enjoy and it really brings alive the magic in reading. The next book that I loved as a kid was The Alchemist by Michael Scott. It's from, the title is The Alchemist, but it's from a series called The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel. I have the sequel to this book, but I have not read it or I only read half of it. I can't remember because I read this when I was in grade seven. Really, really loved this first book. It's about two siblings, Sophie and Josh Newman, who are twins, they meet Nicholas Flamel and they find out that they have magical powers as well and so it talks about like the Philosopher's Stone and how he's immortal and there's a lot of kind of European history intertwined into it and I really like this book. The same reason that I like Distant Waves at that age, I was really interested in historical fiction so I found it really fun. The next book that I loved from my childhood is again an obvious one, a classic, and that's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I actually read this book when I was in grade 7, not when I was really really young, but I read the rest of the books when I was in grade 7 and then in, in grade 8. So this is sort of like a childhood book for me. I mean we all know the plot to this, we know that it's a great kids book so it's on my list. The final group of books that I want to talk about are a series, and they're from the series called The Mysterious Benedict Society. I have here the second and third book in the series. I don't own the first one. I really love these books. I still do. They're, I actually own the prequel as well, which is uh, The Extraordinary Education of Nicholas Benedict. This book just came out recently, and I read it in 2014. So this doesn't really count as a childhood book, but it is a prequel to the series that I loved as a kid. It's a story about this really interesting group of children who were tested and discovered that they were like geniuses basically. So they go to this special institution for like really smart kids and they're taught by Nicholas Benedict and they all live together and stuff like that and they go through these cool sort of puzzles and trials and these stories are all about you know either tests that they're going through in the school or other mysteries that they're solving. It is middle grade fiction I think even. Um, adults would love this book so I would definitely recommend it. So those are all of the childhood favorite books that I wanted to share with you this week. Let me know in the comments what your favorite books from childhood were. Like this video if you enjoyed it and as always subscribe. I will be back next week with another video and I can't wait to see you next so have a great week. Bye! Two, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making a video about University Confessions Myth versus Fact. Fact versus myth. I can never remember.